Okay guys, so in this little video I'm going to show you how you can use CSS in order to solve a very common problem. So you see this little nav bar-ish looking thing I have here with a few elements. You see that I have this little divider between all of them and the way that you might consider solving this sort of problem is to say that hey all these list elements just give them a border right of white and make it solid and make it like two pixels something of that nature but well you see if you do that you're going to have a border here on the on the edge as well so the way that you can actually kind of get around this is with this little neat trick using the not selector so here's our markup it's just a little list and here in our CSS, all I'm doing is that, all right, I set my my list to display flex so that everything lines up nicely in a horizontal direction. I set the list style to none, and then I put a little bit of padding there. And as you can see, then I have this little thing here where I state that, okay, every list item that is not the last child, give that a border, two pixels, and this little grayish color here. And if I just remove that, if I just put that there, what you're going to see is that you get this little element down here. And that's what not what I wanted. Like it looks perfect all the way up to the, to the last element. And that's why this not selector is so useful and the last child selector. So all this means is that, all right, apply this style to everything that is not whatever you give it into the function. And basically I'm saying last child. In other words, give this to everything up until the last child. And because this five here is the last element of this of, of the list, it's not going, this style is not going to apply to that element. So this is a nice little trick that you can use in order to, to, to be able to write a little bit cleaner and more concise CSS in order to, yeah, to, to avoid having the last element behave in a way, well, basically that you don't want. Uh, this can apply, be applied to more stuff than this. There's tons of use cases where you have tables and other other things where you have like a, a color a color scheme or like a border bottom or something like that and you want everything to have a border bottom but not the last element. So just remember this next, next time you're working with a list of some some sort and have a great day.